In this video, I'm going to talk about skip function within Microsoft Power Automate. Skip function removes the items from the front of collection and then returns the remaining item. So definitely it requests for a collection array. Okay. So the syntax, if you see here, the skip word and then the collection array and then the count of items to remove. So example, if you see over here, skip, I'm using create array function to create an array with the value 100, 200, 300, 400. And if I'm passing this value and I'm telling that two, okay, that means remove the two elements first, second. So 100 is gone, 200 is gone, then uh, just return 300, okay? So again, uh, here, if I put the value two, I say remove this first element, two element, and only return me the remaining element. If this value had been say just one, then I would just say remove the first element and the returned value is 200, 300 and 400. Okay. And how you can use, you can use skip and then uh, either you can use a create array to create an array or reference an array and then uh, specifies the number of element you want to remove. Okay. So let's see this in action. Uh, so I'm creating a new flow demo skip uh, and let me switch to the classic designer. So here, let me create an array. Okay. So let me say initialize a variable and here I will say where array and if it's a it's an integer. Okay, it's an integer array with some values. So where array is the name of the variable. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's an array, sorry, which has an integer value in it. Okay, so that's, let me save this. So we have created an array which contains an integer value uh, and this is that listed value over here. If I click on new step now, then let's use the compose action to and click on FX, add an expression and now call that variable using the skip. So skip function will take two values, collection and then the count. The collection is uh, this variable. Now how to reference is using the variables keyword, right? So variables where array. So let me call this as skip. And then again, I will write variables and say where array. Okay. Now this is the first parameter and the second parameter is say, I'll say, I don't want the first two element of it just return me the other. So technically it should return 90, 50 and 70. Now the syntax looks good. Let's run this. And now if you see the value, the first array has 20, 30, 90, 50, 70. And this output would just have 90, 50, 70 because what we have specified in the expression is that skip the first two elements. So the first element goes away, second element goes away, return me the other values. So this is what you get. So that's it folks. This is all about a uh, skip function. The skip function takes a collection as an input. So the first parameter is a collection, which is basically an array for us. Okay. And second parameter is how many items you want to remove from the queue. And if I put number two, then it will remove the first two element from the queue and then it will return back the other three elements. That's it folks. Uh, thanks for watching. This is all about skip function.